Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gave you every opportunity to improve yourself. I went out and got you a partner, a mentor, and yet you're still dropping the ball. Hey! Hey! You are not the I'm star. the best thing you've signed! I can deliver out there better than anyone can, and really? you know that! Okay, you think you can deliver? Oh yeah, I can. Well, I'll tell you what, later tonight, you've got a match. You get a match with Sam Knight for the mm -hmm. online title. You think you can bring home the gold, oh, bring it back yeah, here? I can. I'm going to prove to you why I'm the best thing you've ever signed. You better believe that. Okay. Then we'll work it out. Otherwise, I ain't got time for you, man. All right, I'm back. by Bradley Dupree, the challenger, Spencer Wallace. And his opponent, Noreen, and defending the UWC online champion, the right hand of God, See online, Eric Loy up in the crow's nest as we're ready to go. And this title defense for Sam Knight. That's right, the online champion is Sam Knight. He came out victorious in the triple threat. And right away, you can see Spencer Wallace going to the clubbing technique that he uses. He is accompanied to the ring by Bradley Dupree, but I have to say, a little bit of friction maybe between the two on the way out. Come up a swing and a miss by Wallace, and Wallace says, no, I'm not going to have any of that. He's going to duck right out. Three. As Wallace walks around the ring, and Slam Knight grabs him. Having a... a conversation with Dupree and not paying any attention to his opponent. And a roll. One. No. Not even hardly a one. And going right to that choke. Spencer Wallace. He's a bit of a basher he is. And nails him. Now a headbutt. And another headbutt. And gonna snap him out of the corner. And right, kind of rips away at the mouth area of Sam Knight. You can see Bradley Dupree looking on. He had taken Spencer Wallace as a charge some time ago. But they, they don't seem too pleased with each other right now. Choking him on that second rope. And now Dupree coming over and not being able to help. Staying, just keeping an eye on things. Now Knight fires away. A third. And comes off the ropes, but Wallace headbutts him coming off that rope. Wow. Right into the gut. Wallace is not above using himself as a weapon. And uh, he and Dupree getting into it again. And Dupree telling him, go cover him. And, and uh, Wallace spending some extra time joining with his supposed manager. And now getting in with the crowd a little bit. As Knight makes his way to the corner. Another elbow. And Wallace runs back. Gonna get us some extra charge in. And lands that shoulder. Down goes Knight. Comes in again. And now just bashes him against that second turnbuckle. Brings him out for the cover. One, two, no. And... Not too happy that uh, the referee wasn't in a good position. It was an odd position to be in. And now Knight trying to make his way back. Sam Knight defeating the ward, getting the championship. In a very odd circumstance. Now, again, just catapulting himself into his opponent. And Wallace.
Thomas gets the cover. One, two, and no. Not happy at all is Bradley Dupree on the outside. Now going straight for the choke. Saw so Bradley Dupree on the last episode of UWC Online. Uh, I say he's going to help out Cecil Cerveza. Now where does that leave Spencer Wallace? Right now at least pulling on the neck and chin of uh, Sam Knight. Knight getting the crowd to help him out. Elbow and cracks him forward. And again, Wallace charges in and meets the elbow. Wallace again charges in and meets the forearm. Staggering as Wallace, but not going down. Knight ducks under, comes off the rope. Fine. That time, and down goes Wallace. Wallace down in a cover. Two, no. Just a cover, really didn't have a whole lot of pressure on the shoulders, and we're able to roll out as Wallace. Now, Knight is setting up something, going through the charge, but nobody home. Oh, he hits that shoulder on that ring post, and bam, down goes Knight, and this could be it. One, two, no. Wow. Wallace now looking for what went wrong. And now Dupree trying to tell him something, and I think Wallace shook him off. Straps down for Wallace. Goes for a knee lift. And comes off the ropes. Up, catches him. And plant. Wow! Just about broke the ring. One, two, three. And defending his championship is Sam Knight. Out of nowhere, he plants Sam, plants Spencer Wallace. Sam Knight is still your online champion. Oh, Spencer Wallace put up quite a fight, but it was the man known as the right hand of God, Sam Wallace, comes in with the champion, uh, points to his forehead, and points towards Bradley Dupree, and Dupree making his way into the ring. And we'll see what goes on here. We'll keep the cameras on these two. They were not on the same page here a while ago. And uh, Dupree. Oh, well. Dupree may have, may have been firing. It may have been a firing right there in the ring. And Dupree. Dupree uh, leaves his man in the ring. So Spencer Wallace trying to figure out what happened. Well, what happened is he got one, two, three counted out by Sam Knight, still your UWC Online Champion. Morning, dear. What's for breakfast? Mama John's Pizza Bagels. Eight cheesy pizzas on a thin, flaky crust. Now pizza's for breakfast. Pizza's not for breakfast! Ah! Ah! Mama John's Pizza Bagels. Now pizzas for breakfast. You made me do this! Well, Sean Reif, you know, back at the heat is on. You shed the skin of the referee, and here tonight, you are re-emerging as a member of the active roster. Your first match here tonight yeah. on the UWC roster. What is, what's going through your head, man? Are you ready for this? Uh, I'm as ready as I can be, Stone. Uh, just so excited to be part of this roster. It's been a dream all my life. And uh, I don't know who I'm facing yet, uh, I haven't been told, but I'm going to go out there and give it everything I got to prove to these fans that I deserve to be in that ring. Hey, introducing first. In his first official matchup here tonight as part of the UWC Online roster. Former referee and now wrestler, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Reif! Sean Reif is in the ring. All right, calm down. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Let's go ahead and find out who your first opponent in your wrestling career is going to be. Bring him on out. All right, let's see. Who is Sean Reif going to face? Going to be... Coming off a successful title defense. And the heat is on and Sean Rive making his first UWC official match and uh, and he gets the champion right off the bat. Well that's some deep water. And it's Blake Reed, the champion who has basically been running over, you see Sean Rife. And what, what in the world is going on here? Well, the crowd getting behind Sean Rife, we'll see how he does. And referee Underwood, are you ready to go? He says, yeah, we're ready. And the bell, and in comes Blake Reed, just pounding away on Sean Rife. Just shoulder block after shoulder block. And Rife hasn't even gotten hardly started here. And an elbow sends Rife careening into the into the corner. The champion strangling him off that second rope. And uh, Rife finding out right away what it's in to be in with the big boys. And that's none bigger than the champion. A punt right to the short ribs. And uh, Sean having all sorts of trouble. Reed. And uh, another shoulder block in the corner, holding it, taking that air away from Rife. And arm ring and gonna fire him into that far corner. Oh, he hits shoulder first. That could have dislocated the shoulder. That could have broken a broken a collarbone the way he hit. He hasn't gotten anything at all in this match, other than pain so far. He may have lost the use of that right, out, right shoulder. He's making his way to his feet. Staggering into the ropes. And drug into that corner and again, an elbow. Now I got a chance to talk a little bit with the champion as, as much as you can these days. And I can tell you today he was in a particularly foul mood and there he taking it out on poor Mr. Rife. Into the corner, oh, suplex. Yes. Drops him into that driver and a cover. Here we go. One, two, three. And uh, that's it, folks. Wow. That is... Um, that's learning tough. Um, well... Blake Reed says, I'll be champion forever. And, well, he... Uh, Certainly gets the win over over Sean Rife in his first match. Well, let's hope for uh, young man to get easier from here. The one thing we can definitely say is Blake Reed is continuing his reign as champion of the UWC, and. Uh, Sean Reif is just beginning his career, and he makes his way up into the corner. And then talking with this young man, I know it's uh, not going to keep him down, I don't think, but he learned some valuable lessons today, and maybe about biting off a little more than you can chew right away. We've got more UWC online coming up. Oh, he's cute. <gasps> more into the athletic type. Didn't your friend set you up with an athlete? So, darts is a real sport? I don't know. Is it a real sponsor? I'm getting stupid loose. Wow, stretching? Really? Go! Mountaintop! 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to Zoosk for dating. Zoosk, the online dating site that lets you date your way. Whether you want to browse, flirt, or find your soulmate. <laughs> Zoosk.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I like this guy. They think, you think I don't know, but I actually am very well aware that everybody in here was surprised last week to see Bo Sawyer come out to my aid, not that I needed it, to drop Tornado Jones on his head. But let me explain to you briefly why I did that. You see, I have done something that no one else had ever managed to do. I made a monster out of sourdough. Believe it, I did it. I took sourdough out of his own head, put him in mine, and he became exactly what I wanted him to be. And then, and then, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I made a monster out of Jason V. The most incorruptible force that UWC has ever, did, has ever seen. And I made him question his own beliefs to the point where he was ready to murder me, to beat me. And the funnier thing about that is that's exactly what I wanted. So imagine, just briefly let your mind grasp what I could do with this corn-fed beast of a man, Bo Sawyer, right over here. Imagine the destruction that can be achieved when two well-oiled machines of athletes come together and mesh as one. If I am Frankenstein, Bo Sawyer is my monster. And UWC, everyone in the back should be put on notice because you are nothing more than the villagers we will squash. This first match in the Horizon Cup tournament expanded now to 16 competitors. Hitting Jimmy Carrot against Big Frank Wyatt. And outside you see Bo Sawyer, who is now accompanying Jimmy Carrot. Or is it Jimmy Carrot accompanying him? Either way, that is an unholy pair. Into the ropes goes Carrot, comes off and blam, down he goes. And uh, holding his shoulder a little bit in the corner as he met shoulder to shoulder with Big Frank Wyatt. And uh, guess who shoulder won? Uh, Jimmy Carrot makes his way up. Uh, tries to loosen that shoulder up a little bit. And they tie up again into the ropes. Those Wyatt and Carrot, and Wyatt gives him the clean break, and Carrot slaps him away. And now, White's gonna toss him into the ropes. Come up and here's the elbow, and now goes Carrot. Carrot slides his way outside. <laughs> Carrot taking a little time outside, reflect himself, but you know he's a he's a strange individual, Mr. Carrot. He's sometimes he it seems like he likes the pain. They sit a little bit on the outside along, along the fans as the count goes. And and uh, get on the referee's hair a little bit. Try to get in ahead of Frank White. But White just wants to smack him around a little bit. Mm. Now. And he rolls in just at the 10 count and backs out again. And crowd yelling at him, but that uh, really doesn't bother Jimmy Carey much, you know. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what he did there. Bo Sawyer trying to get the attention of Frank White, and now Carrot finally leisurely makes his way into the ring, and White charges, and a go-behind. Standing go-behind, Carrot making his way to the ropes. And... Let's go. Clean break. See how many of those he gets from. Now the crowd crowning coward. And 
secured as they lock up again. Side headlock and takedown. Textbook takedown by Frank Wyatt. Again, it was announced a little earlier, 16 athletes are going to be a part of this Horizon Cup tournament this year. And you can see Carrot working his way out with the head scissors. Wyatt working into... Makes it a little tougher to hang, and now just forcing his way open. And a punch right in the middle of the forehead. And you see his head bounce off the canvas. One, two. You see a lot of times with wrestlers, boxers, MMA fighters, any type of combat sport, sometimes it's not the initial force of the blow. It's how the head hits on the canvas. And now maybe the way you get thrown into the corner and Carrot lands upside down and then almost skips his way to the middle of the ring. Back up into the other corner again. Up and way up. And that's a big backdrop. And Carrot finds his way back outside. And this time Wyatt's going to follow. Bo Sawyer walks up. And he's right. Wyatt says, why don't you get in here, big boy? Yeah, you want to try it now? Carrot, oh! Carrot tried to Shanghai him through the ropes, ended up meeting the right hand, and got caught up. Hung out to dry, and now reaching for the referee. And Bo Sawyer, no, pushing him right into that ring post. And again, while Carrot's flopping around like a fish in the ring, Sawyer takes the opportunity to introduce Frank Wyatt to the ring post, and uh, that could be a big turning point in this match. Sawyer gets away with it scot-free, but Wyatt now holding that shoulder, and now stomping away at that shoulder is Jimmy Carrot. Carrot saying he can get into the mind of Bo Sawyer, make him even more of an animal than he already is, and uh, that's not good news for the athlete. Throws him off into the ropes, comes off with a that short range drop kick and whoop, rolls him over for a pinning combination and gets a two and a half. Carrot can be a high flyer. He can wrestle you on the mat. He has even been known to use a kick or two like he's in there. He always plays the mind games. Powder keg in a little DDT-like maneuver on that arm, and now a hammer lock. Almost a chicken wing, but more of a hammer lock. And working off that shoulder and elbow that he hit the post with before. Double knee, and again, working back on that. And the pain of this maneuver comes in either pulling the wrist back towards you or upward. Now he's gonna try the pinning combination, and just gets a two. Why it's awful strong and hard to keep down. One, two, and just a straight out kick out that time. But he hangs on to that arm. Garrett doing a good job after the outside attack. Wyatt making his way up, the crowd giving him some help, taking all the torque off that maneuver. Short shot to the kidneys, now a shot to the chest. Wyatt coming off the ropes. Carrot follows in with a knee to the gut. Takes the big man down to his knees. Bo Sawyer on the outside, and Shanghai attack on the outside. Sent Wyatt into that post, and it's been uh, pretty much all Carrot since then. Now he's gonna Slingshot him across that top rope. Again, that could separate the shoulder very quickly. Lining him up for a drive, and he runs into the other shoulder. Forgot that Wyatt's got two shoulders. And that right one meets with Carrot, and Carrot is seeing stars right now. But still managed to land a right to the bearded chin of Frank Wyatt in the second one. Wyatt. Fires a right elbow and a second one. We're still having trouble with that left. And that spin kick, that flying spin kick. 
connects, sends Wyatt down. Sawyer says, go get him. And that's what Carrot's gonna do. Carrot's been able to stay pretty, pretty much mat bound this match. Oh, a vicious chop. And that put a smile on the face of Bo Sawyer. We don't see that very often. And another chop. Usually when Bo Sawyer smiles, that's bad news for everybody. Now running in. Whoa! And uh, picked up into a Samoan slam. But can uh, can Frank Wyatt capitalize on this? You see Sawyer outside trying to get carried up. This is the first match of the 16-man Horizon Cup tournament, the third annual. Making his way up to the ropes, Jimmy Carrot. And Wyatt on the other side. Wyatt's still holding that shoulder, but he's got the right one that works. Bam! Bam again. Carrot flailing away. Now Wyatt rushes in. Splash. Oh, he hit that shoulder again. Just the one thing he didn't want flying forearm. Coming in again. And a cross body in that corner. Up on the top. Oh. Drop kick. Land square on the chin and a cover. One, two, just a two. First time I saw that cross body block in the corner, I believe it was Kevin Von Erich. But certainly adopting it as his own is the powder kick, Jimmy Carey. And you see Frank Wyatt makes it to his feet, but he is a hurting puppy right now. That shoulder doing all sorts of damage. Now another right hand. The crowd getting into it now. Jimmy sucks. That just pushes Carey into more. And following up and landing is Wyatt. He brings him up. Another Samoan drop. Maybe. I don't know. He drops him. It's not the Samoan drop, but he does drop him. He's got to lean back and cover. Trying to get some feeling back into that hand. He does have the cover. Referee one, two, no. It looked like Carrot tried to kick out off the left shoulder and ended up having to go to plan B in the right shoulder. Still not a lot going on on that left arm and shoulder of Frank Wyatt. And a lot at stake here in the first round of the Horizon Cup tournament. Wyatt working his way around, and Carrot grabs the ref, and Bo Sawyer grabs Wyatt, and Wyatt takes a swing at him, and Sawyer nails him. That spinning kick, partially blocked, but does stagger him. Now, and straight down, cover. One, two, three. And there you have it. Jimmy Carrot eliminates Frank Wyatt in the first round of the Horizon Cup Tournament first match. With some help from his compatriot, Bo Sawyer, advancing to the field of eight is Jimmy Carrot in this main event of UWC Online.